Jalen Guy has been basically what, what Scott Jackson said he would be going into the year. A spark plug, a guy that brings energy, a guy that has really shown some athleticism out there in center field. As he hits a high chopper up and over the head of the third baseman, Geloff. Big turn. He's going to try for two. The throw, not in time. Well, there's the energy and athleticism right on cue from Jalen Guy as he stretches a single into a double. When that ball tapped over third base, I immediately glance over at Jalen to see, okay, are we going to make the turn or just go right up the bag? And he made the turn, and the call right on the money. He is safe by an eyelash, but that hustle and the good turn around first is what it got him to second base safely. Pretty good throw by Hamrock, just not in time. So the Flames. So Brady Hyde can afford to be picky. And you get the feeling this might be the last hitter. Zach Messinger faces today. And there's ball four. So a double and a walk to begin things here in the fifth for the Flames. And that's from their eight and nine hitters. The lineup will turn over and Brian O'Connor will turn this game over to a new arm. Makes his way out of the dugout. All in all, see Scott Jackson having a word there with Embry. Going over the situation, maybe the scouting report. Embry today has flown out a couple of times. But a big spot in the middle innings of this ball game. Are now three and one. And this, this is a big pitch in this at bat. You know Witten doesn't. Certainly can't afford to walk a guy here to load the bases with nobody out. So he's going to try to lay one in there. And if you're John Embry, you get a pitch in the spot where you're looking, you can absolutely unload. Here it comes. He ropes one towards the alley in right center field. That one will bang off the wall. Guy coming in to score. High getting the stop sign. He slams on the brakes and scampers back to third. So an RBI double from John Embry, and he was just a few feet away from tying this ball game. Absolute laser by Embry. One hopping right off the wall, and outstanding decision for Liberty head coach Scott Jackson to put the stop sign on Brady Hyde and watching Hyde run around the bases number 12's got some wheels he's got some good speed but that throw would have been right in the path of him coming home so with nobody out no reason yeah, to take an extra absolutely. chance absolutely as Will Wagner up there now the flame Hyde is on at third Embry out there at second Flame second baseman Will Wagner standing at the dish. They play him to pull both the infield and the outfield. Shoots it the other way and it's fair. That will get down into the left field corner. Both runs coming to the plate for the Flames. Wagner rounding second. He'll drop anchor there with a two RBI double and we're knotted at three. I mean the sophomore is having beyond an all-conference type of season. I know Liberty hasn't started conference play yet. Or, I mean, in some ways, all-American type season. Pitch up and away. Shooting that one right inside the bag. Two runs scoring easily on that. Will Wagner, I mean, you can try to be careful to the Flames' second baseman, but... It doesn't matter. He's going to get a lot of contact on. That one is ripped to left field. Going back and he misplayed it. Hamrock misplays it in left. It'll get over his head. They're going to wave in Wagner. He comes in to score and the Flames go on top.
the read he got on that ball. So many times they see the ones hit right at you are the toughest to read. He kind of started in momentarily and then didn't have time to get back on it. A break for the Flames, and they hang a four spot here in the fifth and aren't done yet. I hope at some point we can go back to that dugout shot of when Will Wagner came into the dugout after he scored. Remember back, it was Wagner's two-run double yeah. that tied the game. The reaction from the Flames dugout on Will Wagner when he got in there was apropos of this 2019 season. We've heard from everybody. We love this team. We love being around them. Coach Jackson's talking about it. We'll go to a break here. There you go. There's a and lot. But as he gets in the dugout, they, they just pound him with love. <laughs> it looks like they're beating him up, but they're not. That's what baseball is. That's the emotion you get when you make a big play. and Your teammates love you doing it. It's amazing where that can carry a team. I don't care who it is. Absolutely. Another call to the pin for the Cavaliers here in the fifth. We'll tell you about the new arm on the other side. You're watching Liberty Flames baseball on ESPN+. Plus. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Bowling. Okay. Bowling. Yeah. So there's your... All you need to know about Blake Bales as he gets set to go to work here in the fifth. Still UVA looking to record their first out here in the fifth inning. There's a hack from Brandon Rohr, skies it to center, tagging at second base as Gallison puts the head down and he'll advance to third. So a heady play by Gallison as he's able to move up 90 feet. A productive out bat for Rory, even though it was a loud out. To work today. A double on a 1 2 pitch back in the second inning. And with two strikes in the fourth, he singled. So Matthew, two for two, has his average up to 250. Here comes the 0 2 offering. Lines it, and that'll get down. Another hit, three hit day for Matthew. It's going to roll all the way to the wall. An RBI double for Logan Matthew, and he is swinging it well against UVA today. And like we said, not just going one way. He's using all parts of the ballpark. And that's a career-high three-hit day for Logan Matthew. And all with two strikes. So a five spot now for Liberty. Again. You see Virginia trying to attack him. They get him to two strikes. Soft stuff down and away. It has not worked here this afternoon. Matthew with a great approach. As you said, Alan, using the entire field. I mean, double or not, Gal Leads Liberty in RBIs. 12 RBIs on the year for Kim. Base knock here might give him 13 as Logan Matthew gets his lead out there at second base. Cam gets into one, drives it deep to left. Hamrock going back, looking up, and it's gone. <laughs> Locklear unloads, and the Flames put seven on the board in the fifth inning. He knew it from the get-go, Matt. His reaction after he hit it, I'm not sure who he was looking at. I don't think he was showing up the Virginia dugout. That's not the kind, of, kind of player that he is, but he had a little emotion after that swing. Let's have a look. Yeah. He, got into that one. He drove that way out of here. So the Flames offense comes alive. That, that, that certainly got this team and the bench fired up and got Liberty going, and they haven't looked back. Guy, yeah, one for two, the double we mentioned, came around to score, also struck out, and he's not done. Two knocks here in the fifth inning for Jalen Guy as he laces a single into left center. I mean, this is amazing. I mean, it, these aren't duck snorts. These are rifles, e each one of these. I mean, UVA must feel like they've been standing out there for an hour. And it may actually be close. They head to the dugout after giving up seven runs here in the fifth. Liberty goes on top as we head to the sixth inning here in Lynchburg.